this month at Sotheby's. A gala celebration in Hong Kong, honoring Picasso, the oldest Hebrew Bible, and a great American collection coming right up. Welcome to This Month at Sotheby's. We have so many exciting stories to share as we look at what is happening all over the globe. Let's start in Hong Kong, where Nicholas Chow has an inside look at the celebrations marking Sotheby's 50th anniversary in Asia. In 1973, when Sotheby's became the first major auction house to establish a presence in Hong Kong, the Asian market was small. 50 years later, things are very different. Hong Kong is now the beating heart, the vibrant art scene. Sotheby's is proud to have made this growth happen, bringing some of the greatest treasures of human creation to auction. From the main tongue chicken cup to Picasso's portrait of Garama and Zhang Qian's masterpiece landscaped after Wang Shimo. Not to mention magnificent jewels, watches, wine, and even fashion. Hong Kong now boasts world-class museums, and mainland China has seen a decade-long boom in private museums, and we have played a key role in helping these great museums form their collections. Throughout 2023, we are celebrating 50 years in Asia with an extraordinary series of sales and events. We also look forward to special exhibitions and partnerships with cultural luminaries. Most importantly, we hope you will join us either online or in person. The Hong Kong Spring Sales begin on April 1st. Now, let's preview two historic auctions coming up at Sotheby's. The Codex Sassoon is the earliest, most complete Hebrew Bible in the world. It is more than 1,100 years old and arguably the most influential book in human history. The Codex is currently drawing crowds of thousands as it travels the world, from London to the Holy Land, back to New York in May, where it will be the most valuable historical document ever to come at auction. In late April, Sotheby's will be offering one of the greatest collections of American fine and decorative art ever to come to auction. Formed by the late Irving and Joyce Wolfe, it is filled with paintings in watercolors, sculpture, early American furniture, silver, Chinese export porcelain, design, and jewelry. Don't miss the chance to see the Wolf family collection when it goes on view in New York starting April. And in London, here's Tim Marlowe with his top museum show pick. 2023 marks 50 years since the death of Pablo Picasso. Various exhibitions and events will fill the year in his honour, but this month, two in particular have caught my eye. At the Musée National Picasso in Paris, Leading British fashion designer and erstwhile national treasure Sir Paul Smith has been invited to lead the artistic direction of an exhibition exploring the museum's great Picasso collection. Smith is renowned for his often quirky attention to detail and is himself a compulsive collector of everything from art to bicycles. So he's an inspired choice to give a new perspective on the work of the Spanish modern maestro and its ongoing relevance. He's also included works by contemporary international artists, Guillermo Quitka, Obia Kigbo, Micheline Thomas and Cherry Samba. Then, in Vienna, the Albertina Museum is raising a metaphorical glass to Picasso in an exhibition of over 70 works, including major pieces from across this most influential of careers. There have been more exhibitions dedicated to Picasso over the past decade than any other artist, and not all of them have been great. But such is the level of Picasso's inventiveness that his art still feels to me an incredibly fertile territory. And these two certainly get the 2023 Picasso programme off to a strong start. To learn more about these great stories, visit Sotheby's.com slash this month. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next month.